thinking out of the box. In a small town, a business owner had to pay a large sum of money to a money lender. The businessman had a pretty daughter. The money lender was an old ugly looking person who wanted to marry the businessman's daughter. He decided to offer the businessman a deal by which he could forgive away his loan. However, the catch was that he would only forgive his loan if he could marry the businessman's daughter. The money lender said that he would place two pebbles in a bag, one white and one black. The daughter will have to pick out one pebble. If it was black, the loan would be forgiven, but the money lender would marry her. If it was white, the loan would be forgiven and the daughter will not have to marry the money lender. Standing in the businessman's garden, the money lender bent over and picked up two pebbles. While he was picking them up, the daughter noticed that he picked up two black pebbles and placed them both in the bag. The money lender then asked the daughter to reach into the bag and pick one. Now the daughter had three choices as to what she could have done. Refuse to pick up a pebble from the bag, take both pebbles out of the bag and expose the money lender for cheating or pick a pebble from the bag knowing it was black and sacrifice herself for her father's freedom. She thought for a while and then picked out a pebble from the bag and even before looking at it, she accidentally dropped it among other pebbles. She then said to the money lender, Oh, I dropped it by mistake. Never mind. If you look into the bag for the one that is left, you will be able to tell which pebble I had picked. The pebble left in the bag was obviously black and because the money lender didn't want to be exposed, he had to play along as if the pebble the daughter dropped was white. The money lender had to forgive her father's loan. The businessman and his daughter were very happy. Moral There is always a way out of every difficulty. Time is valuable. Arjun was a very lazy boy. He used to always postpone things. One day, his father called him and made him understand the value of time. He said that you should never waste time. Arjun promised his father that he would never postpone things. One day, he came to know that he had won the first prize in a singing competition held in his school. Arjun was asked to collect the prize on the very same day. As usual, Arjun didn't care and went to take the prize the next day. But now, the prize was useless as it was a ticket to a circus that was held on the previous day. And now, Arjun learned a lesson from this incident. Moral The moral of the story is that time is very valuable. You should always do things on time. The wise old man a wealthy man once approached a scholar to win all the bad habits of his son. The 
scholar agreed. The scholar took the wealthy man's son for a walk. As and when he was walking through the garden, he saw a tiny plant. When he saw the tiny plant, he told the child to pluck it out for him. When the child went near the plant, he easily caught the plant through his forefinger and his thumb and plucked it easily. Now, the scholar and the child walked a little more further in the garden. While walking, the scholar saw a bigger plant. While seeing the bigger plant, he asked the child to pluck that out. The child agreed. With a little more effort, the child plucked the bigger plant as well. After a little more walk, the scholar saw a guava tree. The scholar asked the child to pluck the guava tree. The child hugged the tree, tried to pull it hard, put all his efforts to pluck the tree, but he could not succeed. Now the scholar explains, all these plants are like the bad habits. When they are small, you can pluck them out. But when they grow big, they stay with you lifelong. After this lesson, the child understood his mistake and he became a good boy. The moral of the story is, don't let the bad habits grow in you. When they are small, you can pluck them out. But when they grow big, they stay with you. The Foolish Donkey A salt seller used to carry a salt bag on his donkey to the market every day. On the way, they had to cross a bridge over a river. One day, the donkey suddenly tumbled down the bridge and the salt bag fell in the water. The salt dissolved in the water and hence the bag became very light to carry. The donkey was happy. Then the donkey decided to play the same trick every day. He did the same thing for three more days. But on the third day, the salt seller understood the donkey's trick and decided to teach him a lesson. The next day, he loaded a cotton bag on the donkey. As they were crossing the bridge, the donkey again played the same trick, hoping that the bag would become lighter. But because the cotton soaked the water, it became very heavy and the donkey had to carry a much heavier load than before. That day the donkey learned a lesson. He didn't play the trick anymore after that day. And the salt seller was happy. Moral You should never run away from hard work. Goldilocks and Three Bears Once upon a time, there lived a little girl whose name was Goldilocks. One day, she decided to go for a walk in forest. While out walking, she lost her way and found herself at the house of three bears. Inside the house, she came across a kitchen table with three bowls of porridge. She tasted the porridge from the first bowl and found it was too hot. So she tried the porridge from the second bowl, which was too cold. Finally, she tried the third bowl and found that it was just right. So she ate it all up. When she had finished the porridge, she felt tired and went to find somewhere to sit down. The first chair she found was too big. The second chair was still too big, but the third chair, she felt just right. As she sat down, 
the chair broke into many pieces by now goldilocks was very tired so she looked for somewhere to sleep the first bed she found was too hard the second was too soft but the third bed was perfect for her so she slept on it just then the bears came back to their house when they came into the kitchen they saw that someone had been eating their porridge who's been eating our porridge shouted the daddy bear and the mummy bear baby bear cried and said who's been eating my porridge and eaten it all up then the three bears spotted that someone had been sitting in their chairs who's been sitting in my chair shouted daddy bear and the mummy bear baby bear cried who's been sitting in my chair it is broken up into pieces the three bears ran to check their bedrooms and saw that someone had been sleeping in their beds who's been sleeping in my bed shouted the daddy bear and the mummy bear the baby bear cried someone has been sleeping on my bed and they are still in it goldilocks was woken up by their shouting and was so scared she jumped out of the bed and ran out of the open window back into the forest she ran home to her mother and promised her she would never again go for a walk in the forest alone moral think about how your actions might hurt others the ungrateful lion long time ago in a dense forest lived a lion he was very cruel one day the lion was caught in a hunter's trap one by one many animals passed by the lion oh please help me said the lion to the passing animals but none of the animals helped the lion after some time a man happened to travel by the forest he saw the lion the lion said o oh, kind man i will die of hunger and suffocation please help me the man thought for a while the lion said o oh, kind man i assure you i will not harm you please help me the hunter will be here any time now please help me please take me out of this cage the man felt sorry for the lion and he opened the cage as soon as the lion was out of the cage he let out a loud roar i have been trapped in this cage for a long long time i am very hungry now i will have to eat you but you said you will not harm me yes i said that but only to convince you to set me free now i am very very hungry i am going to eat you the man was terrified but he thought quickly and said all right you can eat me but let a judge decide whether it is right to eat the person who has rescued you the lion agreed he was sure that no animal will talk against him just then a jackal was passing by lion asked him to be the judge the jackal said to the lion sir can you please show me how it all happened the lion said all right i will show you the lion 
went inside the cage and closed the door. The jackal quickly locked the door from outside. The jackal said to the man, Now the lion is trapped again. Run! Run away! And never offer help to anyone without thinking. The frightened man ran away for his life. And the ungrateful lion was trapped in the cage again. After some time, the hunter came and took away the lion to his circus. Moral You should never help anyone without thinking. The Fishing Tree A traveller was passing through a desert on a hot day. He was tired, feeling thirsty and hungry too. He needed a shady spot to rest for a while. He saw a big leafy tree and walked towards it. He felt glad and said to himself, I wish I had some water to drink now. Suddenly, he found a tumbler full of cold water on the ground right in front of him. He sat down there and drank all the water. Then he wished, I wish I had something to eat right here. Immediately, a variety of dishes appeared before him. He was under the shade of Kalpavriksha, a magical tree. That was the wishing tree. Whoever was under it would have whatever he wished for. The traveller enjoyed the delicious food and now he felt drowsy. He wished for a nice bed and it was granted. He stretched himself comfortably on the soft mattress. His legs were paining as he had walked a long distance. He hoped that someone would massage his feet. Immediately, a young lady appeared near his feet. She started massaging his feet and legs. He soon fell asleep. After some time, he woke up. The lady was still sitting beside him. He now started thinking differently. How can things happen like this? Can I have things I wished for by merely asking for them? Is it some kind of a trick played by a magic demon? He doubted. Oh, a true demon appeared in place of a nice lady. The demon was laughing mischievously at him. The traveller said to himself, Is he going to eat me up? Within no time, the demon started leaping at him with his mouth wide open. The frightened traveller took to his heels and ran away. He ran and ran for a long time. When he looked back, there was no demon. What is all this? Did things really happen or was it all merely a dream? The traveller started wondering. I think God grants what one wishes for. Saying this, he resumed his journey. Moral The moral of the story is Always wish for good and good will happen to you.